isn't it? Well, get your popcorn ready for a drive-by of the celestial kind. A big asteroid is set to whisk by the Earth in early November, exciting astronomers who rarely get this close a look at a deep space object. Michio Kako, he's a professor of physics at City University of New York and the author of Physics of the Future, How Science Will Shape Human Destiny and Our Daily Lives by the Year 2100. Hard to imagine that far off, but uh, good morning, sir. This is like the Super Bowl for scientists. Why are you all so excited about this? Get ready for a close encounter like we've never had before with an asteroid. We're going to get up close and dirty with an asteroid 1,300 feet across. Now get this, for the first time in history, we have advance warning of an asteroid this big coming this close to the planet Earth. All right, let, uh, let me back you up for one second because you described a size that is very, very big. Uh, folks of the, think of this as the size of an aircraft carrier coming what's relatively close to the, United, or to, uh, to the planet. Should we be scared of this? No. In fact, you should take out your binoculars and go out on November 8th around midnight to see this rather historic event, an asteroid whizzing right overhead. Now remember, these asteroids have done this before, coming between the Earth and the Moon, but we never had advance warning. By the time we knew about it, they were already gone. This time, we're getting cameras ready, telescopes, radar. We're going to photograph every single inch of that asteroid. It's one of the closest encounters we've ever had, including our space program. All right. Other than uh, being cool to see, what do we actually learn from it? Well, asteroids are a problem because this one could become a city buster, perhaps centuries from now, capable of wiping out New York or Los Angeles within a matter of minutes. So that's why we have to track these things. We have to understand what they're made of. And one day, perhaps understand how to blow one apart or push one out of the way. All right. Well, we do not want to be hit by one. One apparently hit Siberia back in 1908. Of course, none of us remember that one. Michio Kaku, thank you so much.